case over the next three weeks. It's a case of set five delivered by Yamato Transportation Co. Thank you, thank you, gozaimasu. And this is it. It's a, it's this. This is the last case of this set I'm opening until it comes out in English. But there's set four coming out, so I'm just gonna open four boxes per video and talk about a story like I usually do. So thanks for coming by, and um, let's pull a manga rare because I haven't pulled a manga rare yet. So I think it's about time. But I wouldn't be bad about another Oda Luffy. So, if you haven't been to one of my case openings before, I'd like to take this illustrious opportunity to welcome you. Thanks for coming by to watch me strip them and talk about whatever it is that I talk about. And today, I'm gonna to talk about my theory about people. So, I think everybody in the world is better at doing something than everybody else. Bless them. But the likelihood that you find what that thing is, I think it's very low. I think it's very hard to find the thing that you're best at because there's so many things to try. You gotta do so much stuff. You have to make so many mistakes in order to find that thing. But I really do believe that if you make enough recreational mistakes and try enough stuff, you'll be able to find something that you alone are better at than everybody else out there. It just takes like courage, you know? You gotta be like, I want this thing and I wanna try and make it. And then if you do that, eventually, you'll start making something that's somewhat similar to that. And it won't necessarily be that thing exactly, but you can get pretty close. And eventually you might start discover. oh, 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 baby, five. Oh, baby, five. I haven't seen her yet. Look at those bullets. Hot diggity dog, honey. Yo, but that is pretty nice. That's a pretty nice looking baby five. They really smash it with the textures in this set. I gotta, I really gotta give it to them. But there could still be hits in this box, apparently. Just because you get an alt art doesn't mean that there isn't like an alt, uh, something else in there, but I'll just strip them fast. Anyway, you know, I'll, I'll talk about some of these things from like my personal experience. I've never really been a big fan of pants in stores. I've never really found pants that I'm like, wow, these are the, my best pants that I will wear all the time until forever because I love them so much. Now you may have had that experience and I'm not telling you that you gotta go make pants, but I was motivated to start making my own pants and eventually I started figuring out some hacks in the creative process to make them differently. Then I, you know, I, I watched a YouTube video, I think on one, a friend showed me how to kind of like dissemble stuff and start reassembling it. But it was from this, uh, it was from this series of recreational mistakes where I was kind of just tried to do some things differently and I figured out how to make pants without a side seam with pockets. That was the thing is I love pockets. I think pockets are very useful. I think they're great things to have on pants, but it's really frustrating because traditionally when you make pants, you have to sew the pockets into the side seam. The, the pockets are like kind of part of the side seam design actually. So. What I figured out was a way to keep the, the the fabric together because I use these funky fabrics and I don't want to I don't want to disrupt the pattern that's going along with the fabric, but uh, I still want to have pockets. So I kind of figured out this hack to like make pants without side seams with pockets, and that's when I started my clothing company, Pants News. And I think that you know they weren't like traditional pants they're not the same i've never seen pants like that before they're stretchy they're comfortable they look great they have pockets and they work really well for me so to me it wasn't really like they were pants like p-a-n-t-s pants so i made my company name p-a-n-c-e because i figured that like first of all why is pants plural that doesn't make any sense It's not two things, it's just, it's one thing you put on your legs, you know? In the, in the in the morning you say, you put on your socks because you have two socks, but you your pants are one unit. So why is it plural? Bless them. I don't get that, and I don't think I ever will. So I, uh, I decided to change it up a little bit, make it singular, and make it P-A-N-C-E, because, uh, you know, second of all, Pants are most useful for dancing anyway. I think if you have pants that liberate your body and allow you to move in successful ways, then you can make successful dance moves. And if you have, pa oh, Kaido, okay, all right. So are we gonna get something, are we gonna get something hot in this box? Is there like a, there could be the, the Oda Luffy could be in this box 
or a signature to Luffy could be in this box. I don't think a manga rare could. Oh, I wonder I wonder how the kid and the law manga rares work because they're not actually secret rares, so maybe they might not take a secret slot. There's only one way to find out, I guess, to strip them. So, you know, I think uh, by by changing it up, changing what it was and saying, you know, these aren't these aren't conventional pants. They're pants that I made up. I changed the name of it and now it's my own thing. And by doing that, there isn't anybody else that makes pants. It's just me. And they're unique. And they're my thing. And that kind of makes me the best in the world at it. So until somebody starts making pants, I may have some competition. But for now, it's lonely at the top. Actually, which is why I really stopped making pants. I don't make as many pants because I don't feel like I'm really pushing stuff that much. You know, every year I might have one innovation because it's like, oh, I want this new shape on my legs. But I don't ever have anybody else doing it with me that's like making cool new stuff that's motivating me to keep pushing what I'm doing. But yeah, that I think is, you know, it's a, it's a way to say, hey, I'm going to I'm gonna do this thing. I'm going to do it differently. And if I do it differently enough, there will come a point in time where nobody else is doing it. And if nobody else is doing it, then you're the best at it, right? And that's kind of the one of the directions I tried taking with cards. Uh, my cards is they're, they're different. And that's why I spelled the name differently is because I'm using a, a new printing process. I'm printing on a new material. All of it is new. It's original. They're actually the guys at the company that make the printers are saying that there isn't really anybody else doing that with these printers. So inherently, again, it kind of makes me the best at it. Except in this instance, I do have a rival. Davidson TCG. We are mortal enemies. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. We're really good friends, actually. He taught me how to make my first card, and I'm eternally grateful to him. He helps me all the time. And what's really cool about that is, you know, we've kind of, I, I think I did most of the development in this technique on my own, but we've continued to develop stuff together. And in the process of developing things side by side, we've slowly been able to continuously push each other. Because really we're like super excited about the stuff we're doing you know it's all new very exciting stuff and to have like a breakthrough it's fun to like share it with your fan base and tell people like yo we got this new thing that we're doing when i say we i mean me bless them but it's really like you know it's a uh it's a thing that he and i both do that's different and to have somebody that's doing it with me gives me some point of reference where we can keep developing and pushing what we're doing it doesn't get as stale as quickly um, and it's been really fun so I think like finding something that you like that you enjoy and just starting in a way where you can actually like see something come out of it you can't really expect it to be the best version of it that it will be or exactly what you want but if you at least start it's a lot more successful than not starting the best way to do something is to do it actually so you just gotta you know YouTube is a really great resource Oh, ho, oh, talk about resources. Yo, sha, yeah. That's Bello Betty number two, and I'm fine with that. I will have as many of these cards as ever. I love this character. I think she's so cool. I'm definitely going to play this character. I, I think this deck looks really fun. Um, but then again, I actually don't know what a lot of the stuff in this set does. Uh, but Brandon told me he's really good. And Brandon's my boy, part of my pirate crew. You may know him, slinging my. Kaizoku cards around the locals of New Jersey. Uh, with his brother all, as well. They're both in it. They're both in it to win it. And I love those boys. Love you boys for watching this. This, Thank you for the insight. Words of insight. Um, yeah, so, you know, I think it's just about, like, taking the risk. Taking the jump. Like, if there's something that you want to do, do it. What, what's the worst thing that's going to happen? I mean, unless it's putting you in danger. If there's a real risk or danger or something that's going to happen while you're doing it, then maybe, you know, consider a way in which you can do it where it's not dangerous. But what's the worst thing that's going to happen? It's not going to work and you realize you don't like it? Well, great. Then that's off the table. That's one less thing that you have to think about doing. But if you kind of like what you make and you're like, hey, this isn't bad. I kind of dig this. And some of your friends are like, oh, cool. Then it's even more exciting. And then you just keep making it. And the thing is, like, you're not going to get worse. You know what I mean? When you do something and you keep practicing it, like, it's very unlikely that you get worse. Like, there may be some that don't come out as well, but that's part of the learning process because as you make those things that you don't like, they give you perspective on what you do like. So you'll continue to find things that work better and make things in ways that were better from the way that you did it the first time. And eventually you'll get to a point where, you know, in theory, you'll really dig what you're doing because you've honed and crafted what you're doing. Wait, this is, did I just bless him the alternate art? 
because I'm pretty sure there's an alternate art in here too. Oh, who's it gonna be? I mean, I would like another Bella Betty alt art, but it, just one that I haven't seen before would be cool. Who's that chick on the SR that I really like? That would be cool. Rob Lucci, handsome Lucci, look at him. He's going out for Pride Day, he's having a blast. This rainbow sunshine just showing the glare. I, I love this because it's so not, it really doesn't seem like his aesthetic at all. Or maybe I missed something. Maybe I'm not aware of something that was there that I don't get, but I think it's a really pretty card. And now I have two Rob Luchis. All right, so we're gonna do one more box for this video while I continue to ramble about how you can get nasty. But the, the you know, I think the key to all this is like, you gotta try. If you don't try, nothing's gonna happen. So. My advice to you would be, you know, find something that you enjoy, that brings you joy, that, you know, if there's a monetary incentive, that can be cool, that can be fun. It's always great to, like, make money with the things that you like. But if the monetary incentive is everything, it gets a little, like, the reward changes when you're not seeing that. You know, I'd recommend... Oh! Snippity snap! What about that? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool to me. I mean, the manga panel would have been cooler, but... I'll take as many of this as possible. I actually, personally, I actually like this better than the manga one because I have my own, uh, I got stuff, I'm nothing else. All right, so, yeah, so, you know, it, it, it's, I think if it's, if it comes from a place of joy and seeking your own interests and like chasing the things that make you excited, like little shiny rectangles that when you look at them, give you a feeling that makes you want to be alive. I think that's a really great thing to start with for me, but I don't know what it is for you. And I think that's a question that if you're interested in getting nasty at something, you kind of got to ask that question, figure out, you know, what is the thing? What is this? What is this thing for you that makes you feel like when you see it, you really like it, but you think it could be cooler. And if it could, how does it get cooler? And, and then you figure out what are the right series of recreational mistakes I can make to um, make something come into existence out of this habit or hobby. Wait, did I just bless him that gear five? Or no, that just came out of it. It was Rob Lucci. What a blessed boy, Rob Lucci. I don't think there's anything else in this box. I think for this alt art, that's it. But it could be, I guess there could still be an alternate art leader. Maybe, possibly. The only way to find out is to strip him. Um, and like stripping I feel really skilled at stripping I feel like I really got this thing down. Am I the best in the world at it? I don't know. But that would be kind of cool to find out. If you think you have shrimp skills, please make an Instagram reel and display to me your shrimp powers. And I'd like to evaluate them uh, relative to mine. We can start a shrimp competition. And maybe I'll do a giveaway. I'll make a custom card with, um, uh, you know, me shrimping um, a Gear Five Luffy out of a pack on a card to break the sixth wall. I think is how that works. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's pretty much my story for today. I think it's worth trying stuff, trying new things. Because, like, if you don't, who will? Right? Maybe somebody else. But they don't have your idea. So if they don't have your idea, then they can't really even do it as well as you because they don't have the sauce. You know, you got the sauce. So find that sauce, brew it, and make the thing that makes you feel like, wow, this is so much more fun to wake up every day because I have something to look forward to to make. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I think it is. Anyway, I didn't bless him one of this. I was just going too fast. I was just on a shrimp and shrimp and train, shrimp and roller coaster. Boom, Drake. But yo, pretty hot pulls from this four boxes. Tune in for the next four boxes. Gear 5 Luffy, Rob Lucci, Handsome Lucci, Bello Betty. This is definitely my favorite alt art from this set of the alt arts. Kaido, pretty cool. And Baby 5, oh, Baby five. I think she's a searcher. So place that will be needed in English. Thanks for coming by. I'm a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. Um, I mentioned this one recently and somebody told me that it was really useful. So I'm going to mention it again. If you feel like it takes forever to brush your teeth, go lay down. Go lay down in your bed and brush your teeth. Because if you're laying down when you brush your teeth, you're way too lazy to get up. I mean, at least I am. And then you might brush your teeth like three times. And trust me, that's not really bad for you. As long as you're using like proper technique and stuff, you know, gentle motions with an electric brush, you're just setting yourself up for success. And I think that's a big part of life to get yourself ahead is when you set yourself up for success and just, you know, things end up being more fun. See you in the next one. Very dangerous with brushing this very dangerous brush if you don't have your glove to protect it, your whole arm. So 
you put on your sponge and then you, you want to make sure you brush outside of your teeth first or else your banana is gonna get squished and then when you finally feel like everything around it is getting pretty clean then you can start with one tooth maybe not too many tooth not too many tooth and then if you get this kind of whole area especially with your neck and your and uh, around your eyes very importantly sometimes your brows and then once you get all the all of the brushing of on your on your face then your tooth is going to be clean <laughs>